Hello everyone, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue and today Doug and I are going somewhere we haven't been for a very, very long time. We are heading on over to Ireland. Um, we only got a week, but we're intending to do a small section of the Wild Atlantic Way. Um, we've left the dogs at home um, because their passports have run out and I didn't have time to get Bella's rabies jab uh, boosted. Uh, so yes, it's just the two of us. We are taking the car as well. Um, mainly because I wasn't sure whether the van was going to fit around the narrow lanes and, you know, some of the main sites, I think, are down quite windy roads. So we've booked two campsites uh, where we're going to park up one at three days, one at four days. And, um, yeah, and we're going to do a little bit of exploring. The weather's not the greatest at the minute, as usual. I mean, yesterday was the hottest day this year in the UK. And it was sunny all the way here. As soon as I crossed the bridge into uh, Anglesey, um, yeah, the fog descended <laughs> and it was raining last night. But it looks a little bit clearer and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it stays that way because I'm not the best sailor in the world. And we are taking the ferry, obviously, from Hollyhead. So, yeah, that's our first stop today. We are at Plas Ellen Camping and Caravanning Club certified site and it's really pretty. So there's a few tent pictures and there are a few motorhome hard standings. And just down here you've got your chemical waste disposal, eco and organic chemical fluids only, wastewater, drinking water and in that building there is uh, one shower and toilet combined and a separate toilet. Quite basic, but functional and clean. So that's us. And there's a little picnic bench. Right, we just need to pack up and hit the road. At the roundabout, take the second exit, then bear left. Well, it looks like we're here. That was all of about five minutes. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was about 10 minutes, but anyway, let's see where we've got to go. We're with Stenna today. Um, cars, coaches and lorries. I think I've got to show ID. I'm not sure. I don't think you need a passport for this. But let's see. Looks like they're going to search Doug's van. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I was on a ferry. It was probably about, ooh, maybe... 25 years ago. <laughs> hmm. We seem to be on the move. Doug is actually behind me, even though <laughs> he got stopped. It, they did look in all the van. Interesting. plenty of room, width wise, so if you are in a motor home, that's not an issue, getting in and out should be good. We are moving. It's nice and calm today, so that's great. This might be windy out here, I reckon. Yeah. It's decidedly blowy. <laughs> well, we are back to the cars. We're just coming into Dublin. Um, it was fairly a uh, calm crossing, so I didn't feel at all sick actually. I don't know whether it was the armbands or just the fact that it was quite calm. We were in the premium lounge, but it was absolutely freezing in there. Warm everywhere else on the ship, but freezing cold. They've got the aircon on, obviously. But yeah, we're just waiting to disembark, and then we've got about a three hour journey um over to Doolin. So we're doing a sort of centre part of the um Wild Atlantic Way. We've got two campsites as I said, we've got Nagels, I think it's called, near Doolin Pier. And then we're off to Clifton Eco Beach um for the second leg of the week. So yeah, I will speak to you a little bit more later. Right, we're off. It's raining for a change. Bear yeah. right, then turn right. No idea where I'm going. Uh, this road has a lot of tolls on it. Of course, being left-hand drive, 
I have to get out to pay. So far, I think we've paid four different tolls. They've been about two pounds a shot, two pounds 30, something like, actually two euros 30, sorry, I'm in Ireland now. So I'm not entirely sure if there's a better way of doing this. I'm assuming there may be a way to get a pass or something, but we didn't do that. finally come out the wildflowers are looking absolutely beautiful and I've got another 23 kilometers to go and then we'll be there. Doug's struggling to get through because there are coaches and cars parked everywhere. Um, Doug's asking me to check that I'm going the right way but I am I'm afraid. The roads are not big. I mean this is okay but um, it's a busy place, there's obviously something going on today. It is Saturday, of course. Um, and the sun's come out, which is amazing. Fabulous. It's asking us to go on to Doolin Cycle Loop, but that doesn't sound right, does it? But as you can see, it's windy, and when there are coaches coming the other way, it's a bit disconcerting, I suspect, if you're driving a big, big uh, motorhome. I'd say this is probably more suited to camper vans and uh, smaller motorhomes. This is the route that the campsite suggested as being the less uh, narrow than other routes. So, Doolin Cave, 14 kilometers, um, and the Burren is this way, which are all landmarks on the Wild Atlantic Way. See, there is a cycle sign there, so it's obviously a, a well-known cycle route, I think. surely it is. so if like as you've never been to the wild atlantic way this is what you can expect i suspect some of the roads are narrower than these ones uh, um, but you know to get to the beauty spots you need to be able to navigate very narrow and windy roads yeah that's gonna be nightmare absolute nightmare Obviously something happening here today. I would uh, give way mate, there's a big van coming behind me. He's not going to get through there without people giving way, is he? As you can see, he is through the village, maybe through the back screen. <laughs> well, we're here. It's busy. It's the servicings over there. It's blowing a hoolie. Right, we're going to go down to the sea, if you can hear me, and have a look at the choppy sea while the sun's shining. There's the ferries over there that go to the island. And there are the cliffs of Mohar in the distance. I was considering a boat trip to one of the islands, but as you can see by that boat bobbing up and down, I think I'd be throwing up within about two minutes of setting foot on it. Never made as a joke in Ireland ever before, obviously. I'm purely original. Anyway, it's really, really windy here, but very nice. Good job the sun's out because it's a little bit nippy, but just because of the wind. Could be worse, hey, could be raining. But yeah, that's amazing. And the sea, very, very powerful, and very wavy today.
Morning everyone. Well, we are still at Nagel's Caravan and Camping Site. Um, it's drizzling. <laughs> it rained all day yesterday, absolutely torrential. In fact, we're really close to the Cliffs of Moher and you couldn't actually see them yesterday. It was so cloudy and wet. But we did watch the finals of the hurling and County Clare, where we are, were in the finals with Cork. And it's the first time since 2013 or something like that. And yeah, so that was interesting. It was on the BBC. Um, most amazing game. I had no clue what was going on, but it was end to end and really gripping. And there was one point in it all the way through. County Clare did win. So we were expecting it to be quite noisy last night. Uh, the campsite was actually quite peaceful. I suspect the village of Doolin was slightly different. <laughs> There's probably a few sore heads this morning. Um, Despite the drizzle, we're going to go out and we're heading down the Wild Atlantic Way. We're not going to be doing a lot of it. We're starting in the middle. We've only got a week and um, we're going to head to the cliffs and then onward down to the first section of a, a map that I've got of the Wild Atlantic Way, which is broken into 16 drives and we're only going to manage four of them this week, I think. Um, but yeah, we're going to head out despite the rain and see what we can see. Right. So we are here near Doolin Pier and we're going to follow the road down past the cliffs. It's a bit cloudy today for the cliffs so we can do that tomorrow when the sun's supposed to be out. And we're going to head to a first stop which is Clahane or Clahane, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. But we're following the south um, route. Wiggles. <laughs> so that's the plan. Let's see. We are at the first marker. We don't know how to pronounce it. Clahane, Clahane, I don't know. The Irish version would be. But yeah. Well, there's no E on the end of the Irish one. Oh, well, so, something. Let's have a quick look at what it says about the place. The father of the modern submarine, John Philip Holland, was born in the Coast Guard's cottage here, apparently. In 1841, he sold his first submarine, the USS Holland, the US Navy in 1900. Treading on ancient marine creatures walk city pavements and you may be stepping on Liscanor flagstones. The flagstone quarry around Liscanor and the cliffs of Moher carries the fossil tracks of 320 million year old marine creatures. Right, well, let's go and have a look at some rock pools. We do love a little rock pool, as you may remember from when we went to Wales. Sorry about the wind. Doug's making his way to the big rock pool over there to see if there's anything in it. I've only got my cro crocs on at the minute and even with sport mode engaged, I'm not risking it. I need to switch to my walking boots, I think. Fabulous rocks though. Nice variety. A bit mossy in places. was hard. Kilrush. 
brown signs we're looking for. La Hinch Beach viewing point. Okay. Well, there are a lot of surfers here. It's a busy spot. Big sandy beach. More rock pools. Good combination of rocks and sand, these beaches mostly, aren't they? Well, we've pretty much walked around the town already. <laughs> so unless you want to uh, go to the beach, it's not an awful lot else to do. Golf, surfing, and walking on the beach. Okay, so that was Lange. It's not an awful lot here. There's a lot of tourist coaches. Uh, one even called Dave Coaches, which was quite amusing. But apart from Turn that, right onto Milltown Malbay Road. We're heading on further down the coast now. It just goes down to the beach, I think. It's a dolphin. Is it a dolphin? Um, you see the two big yellow boys? You can see it. There's a, do a duck, yeah? Yeah, that's where I saw a f I, j I just saw a fin come out of the water, I think. Oh, there it is! Oh, I just came up in front of that orange boy! Right, I'm going to get as close as I can without getting soaking wet. I've got a towel and spare clothes. We did go back for some, <laughs> just in case. There is, a, it could be a porpoise, could be a dolphin, not quite sure. Oh, there it is, there's the fin. Directly in line with that yellow boy. Let's get closer. Oh, wow. Hope you can see that on the film. Where's he gone? There he is. Oh, oh she? <laughs> wow. <laughs> when I was a small child, my mum and dad took me to Newquay and I stood on the cliff top with loads of people in the sea down below and screamed shark at the top of my lungs. And it was some porpoise playing in the, in the sea, but scared half the people to death because it was just about the time that Jaws came out. Won't be going swimming, eh? That's a lot of jellyfish, that is, a lot of jellyfish. Oh gosh, look at all these ones. Hundreds of them. Maybe do dolphins eat jellyfish? Maybe that's what he's eating. Surf school. Oh, it's down there. Surf Max Gale yeah. Car Park is... Oh, can you get into that one down there, maybe? We're going where that car's going. Yeah. We need to take the top box off the car because most of the car park... Oh no, that's reduced height as well. ...have a maximum height of two metres, so we can't get in with the top box on and it doesn't fit in the boot, unfortunately. Ah, here are some parking here. Fortunately, this spot is for campers and stuff, so we can fit in that point. We are now heading towards Kilkey. The rain is coming down. And just to remind you, this is July. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not overly warm, it's about 17 degrees. But give it five minutes and the sun might come out again. I think this might be one of those other things that would look amazing in the sunshine too. Look at the sheer side on that cliff. It's a bit grey, but beautiful all the same. Doug, needless to say, is staying in the car. He is not keen on heights at all. Even this is probably freaking him out because I'm in his eyes close to the edge. I think you'll agree that Ireland is stunning, whatever the weather. In the next video, we'll be heading north from Doolin Pier, so I hope you'll join us for that. And if you did enjoy this video, why not subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications so that you don't miss any of Bella's big adventures. Thanks for watching. See you next time.